हॉकी लेजेंड मेजर ध्यानचंद Tanchand is the most extraordinary the greatest field hockey player. Let's take a look at the amazing journey of the wizard who was known for his super ball control. The man who scored more than 400 goals in his career. The man responsible for earning three Olympic gold medals. Han Chand was born on 29th August 1905 in Allahabad, Uttar Pradesh, into a Maurya Khushruha family to mother Sharda Singh and father Sameshwar Singh, who was in British Indian Army. His father was often transferred, so the family was exposed to different cities. This also became a hindrance as Han Chand could not continue his education for long. His education stopped approximately after six years of schooling. The family then settled in Jhansi, Uttar Pradesh. His father got a small piece of land for his services. Dhan Chand had two brothers, Rup Singh, also a player, and another brother, Mool Singh. What is interesting is the fact that when Dhan Chand was young, he was not into sports. According to the reports, he loved wrestling. At the age of 16, he joined in the army, and at that time, he used to practice after the duty hours and night. He waited for the moon so that the field would light up and help increase the visibility. Due to this, it is believed that he was named Chand, literally meaning moon by his fellow players. It was during 1922 to 1926 that he played hockey tournaments and regimental games in army. Then he was selected in the team that was to go to New Zealand. The Indian Army team won 18 matches, drew two and lost only one. When Dhan Chand returned, he was promoted to Lance Nike. The newly formed Indian Hockey Federation was making a team for the 1928 Amsterdam Olympics. In 1925, an inter-provincial tournament was held to select India's national field hockey team. Chand got permission from the army to play for the United Provinces team. He was immediately noticed for his skills and was on the team for Olympics. The final match in Olympics took place on 26th May, with India facing the home team of the Netherlands. It was tough as top players were not well, including Dhan Chand. Despite all odds, India won its first Olympic gold medal. Dhan Chand was the top scorer of the tournament, scoring 14 goals in 5 matches. It was stated that this is not a game of hockey but magic. Dhan Chand is in fact the magician of hockey. He was then automatically selected for the 1932 Los Angeles Olympics. India's first match in the 1932 Olympics was against Japan, which it won on the score of 11 to 1. The team kept moving ahead and once again won the gold in finals. After the Olympics, the team went on an international tour covering the United States, England and several other countries. By the end of the tour, India had won 34 matches out of 37, with Chan scoring 133 out of the 330 goals scored by India. He became the captain of the Indian hockey team in 1934 and he led the team to the 1936 Berlin Olympics. Dhan Chand's magic again got a gold medal for India. This was India's third successive gold in field hockey. Let's take a look at his personal life. He got married to Janki Devi in 1936 and had seven sons from his marriage. In 1956, at the age of 51, he retired from the army with the rank of a major. After he retired, he coached for a while and then settled in Jhansi. According to the reports, this legend spent the last years of his life in poverty. It is unfortunate as he was forgotten. He lost hope and suffered from liver cancer. He died at the age of 74 on 3rd December 1979. Let's take a look at his various achievements. India's highest award for lifetime achievement in sports is named after him, the Dhan Chand Award.
A statue of this hockey legend with four hands and four sticks was erected in Vienna, depicting his master control over the ball. 29th August, his birthday is celebrated as National Sports Day in India. AstroTurf Hockey Pitch at the Indian Gym Khanna Club in London has been named after Indian hockey legend Khan Chand. He was awarded the Padma Bhushan in 1956 by the Indian government. The Union Minister of India gave the 20th National Award 2012, namely Gem of India, to the magician of hockey major Dhan Chand. The award was received by his son Ashok Dhan Chand, hockey Olympian himself. The National Stadium in Delhi was renamed Dhan Chand National Stadium in 2002 in his honour. stated that in 1936 Olympics, after India played its first match, a German newspaper's headline was, The Olympic Complex Now Has a Magic Show Too. The next day there were posters all over Berlin. Visit the hockey stadium to watch the Indian magician Khan Chang in action. It has also been revealed that Führer was so impressed by Dhan Chan's visitry with the stake that he offered him a chance to move to Germany and the post of colonel in his army, which the legend declined. Cricket legend Don Bradman stated, He scores goals like runs in cricket. Whatever said is less. Major Dhan Chan is a legend. His achievements are uncountable and stories from his life are never-ending.